Good evening from Tokyo, Japan, and good morning to most of the attendees here. Welcome to Excel Wizards earnings call for the first quarter of the fiscal year ending March 2023. This is Koichi Kawai, Executive Officer and Head of President's Office of Excel Wizards. With me on the call today are Ko Ishiyama, Representative Director and President, Hirotsuna Fujiwara, Senior Manager of the Corporate Planning Department, and Hikaru Koyama, Head of IR Department. After the market closed today in Japan time, we issued a press release and presentation with details regarding our first quarter results, as well as supplemental data sheets and FAQs, both of which can be accessed on the IR section of our official website. Please note that this meeting is also being recorded and will be posted on our IR website at a later date. During today's call, we will make statements relating to our business that may be considered forward-looking. This statement reflects our views only as of today and should not be considered representative of our views in any subsequent date. We disclaim any obligation to update any forward-looking statement or outlook. With that, I would like to introduce today's schedule. Today, Mr. Ishiyama and I will begin by explaining executive summary of the first quarter, overview and progress of the business segments, and forecast for the consolidated financial results of the full year, followed by the presentation materials. After the presentation, we will have a Q&A session until 11 p.m. Japan time. In terms of operation for the Q&A session, if you have any question, please use your raise your hand function in Zoom and let us know. We will then appoint, appoint you and unmute you. Please let us know your name and organization and ask your question. Please limit your question up to three per person. Finally, at times in our prepared comments and response to your questions, we may discuss metrics that may be incremental to our usual presentation to give greater insights into dynamics of our business or our quarterly results. Please be advised that we may or may not continue to provide this additional detail in the future. With that, let me turn the call over to Mr. Ishiyama for his prepared remarks. Mr. Ishiyama. Thank you, Mr. Kawai. And hi, everybody. Uh, thank you for joining us today. And this is Ko Ishiyama, Representative Director and President of ExaWizards. I'm pleased and excited to give you a briefing on the results of first quarter of the fiscal year ending March 2023. This is a table of content uh, for today's presentation. First, I will provide a summary of first quarter financial results and an overview of consolidated results, uh, followed by an overview of the AI platform and AI product segments and their performance. Finally, I will ex explain our forecast uh, for the fiscal year ending March 2023. Okay, now let me start with a summary of the uh, fi financial results for this fiscal year. As a first announcement, financial segments and various explanatory materials are mainly in units of 1 million yen instead of 1,000 yen from this fiscal year. Please be careful uh, when viewing them. Uh, first quarter results were in line with initial plan. First quarter sales were 1,196 million yen, up 42.9% year on year. First quarter operating income was minus 237 million yen, compared with minus 227 million yen in the previous year, due to aggressive upfront investment in hiring personnel and other expenses to further expand the business. Uh, last page, please. Uh, just one, please. Okay. Uh, for the AI platform business, uh, seg I, uh, for the AI platform segments, uh, first quarter sales are continuing to grow strongly, reaching 1,057 million yen up 44.7% year on year. First quarter sales uh, to long-term customers uh, remain, remained high at 757 million yen, 71.6% uh, of sales. 
first quarter operating income margin are temporarily are declined to 3.9% due to aggressive upfront investments. Also, it is expected to uh, improve uh, from uh, second quarter onward. Uh, for the AI product segment, uh, first quarter sales uh, grew uh, st steadily uh, to 138 million yen, up 30.3% uh, year on year. Uh, market development is uh, underway for further business expansion for each product, including large scale implementation in line with customer issues. Uh, Strengthening of uh, in depth business uh, collaboration with partners and diversification of product sales methods. Okay, uh, this is a summary of the uh, financial result page. Uh, okay. Uh, just more, please. Okay. Uh, I'd like to present uh, our uh, consolidated net sales and operating income for the uh, first quarter. Uh, net sales uh, for the period uh, grew approximately 43%, maintaining high growth from the previous uh, period. Uh, operating loss uh, amounted to 237 million yen due to the aggressive hiring of excellent talent and professionals for the uh, future sales growth as an upfront investment. Uh, this page shows uh, the entire consolidated p and uh, uh, In this fiscal year, we recorded extraordinary income from the sales uh, of some of, of our business. Uh, in addition, from this fiscal year, we have started to apply the Japanese group relief system. Uh, this is consolidated balance sheet. Uh, in the current period, uh, there will be no significant change from the end of the fiscal year ending March uh, 2022. Now, uh, I'd like, uh, now I'd like on to Mr. Kawaii for the uh, segment overview. Mr. Kawaii. Uh, thank you, Ishi Yamazan. Uh, they would like to uh, continue with an explanation on overview and progress of the business segment. Our mission is solving social issues through artificial intelligence for future generations. We are solving social issues by providing AI machine learning based platform into industrial issues while accumulating algorithms to pursue scalability. We have two business segments called AI platform for enterprise and AI products for various SMBs, enterprise and individuals. And our core strengths are being accumulation of these innovative algorithms and data sets from various vertical and domains. Currently, AI platform business accounts for 88% of our revenue. Through solving the problem of CXO in large enterprises, our scale of the project is becoming larger and larger. Please understand that the AI platform will be the driver of the growth for the short to midterm and AI products to be a long-term driver for the future. The following is a summary of sales and earnings by segments for this first quarter. Sales of the AI platform business were 1057 million yen, up about 45%, maintaining a high growth rate and doing great. Our gross profit increased with growth rate of 32% and maintaining approximately 59% margin. I suppose that there may be some concern about the decline in the uh, operating margin of the AI platform segment, but this is a temporary decline due to upfront investment in recruiting talented professionals, and it is expected to improve from the second quarter and onward. So these are in line with our original plan. The AI product segment is also continuing to grow with sales of 138 million yen, an increase of about 30%. We are on track to meet our full year forecast, and we believe that we are off to a steady start. Now, we will go over our AI platform business overview. Here's an overview of the AI platform business. As explained below, 38% of our employees are currently strategic consultants, and they work as an in-house consultant to solve client CXO issues. 
Specifically, they work on the high-level management issues, such as how to improve the KPIs, set out the mid- to long-term plan, by when and to what extent. The middle part is a mechanism that increases our gross profit margin. We have already applied for more than 165 patents, and we are able to offer high pricing through an algorithm that we can only use. And as a result, our gross profit margin will increase in the future. In addition, 47% of the company engineers who participate from 20 countries maintain Exabase in highly reusable form. This makes it possible to work on similar projects while keeping the utilization rate of our engineer very low and increasing productivity. The top part is a mechanism of the promoting continuous usage. We're not only providing AI algorithms, but we also have a strong UI UX team so we can only we can provide AI with UI and UX as software that is easy to use in the field. Also in 2021, we acquired a company called Xware to provide machine learning ops or machine learning operation, which is a foundation for updating machine learning on a daily basis while embedding into our clients' field. In this way, we can promote continuous use by providing an environment where the final users can run their own applications. In this way, we're able to achieve high gross profit margin and retention rates. And one of the reasons why we are able to gain market share is that each vendor provides specific function to solve CXO's issues, while we have all the app capability to tackle their issues in an integrated manner and improving KPIs in a performance-oriented manner. The key point of differentiation is that while other companies use functional delivery, we focus on result delivery. It is also important to note that our company's clients are multi-sector and that we are capable to offer multi-modal technology as we are growing horizontally. For example, in the case of one of our clients, SoftBank, we analyze the image of a five minutes interview video. And if there's text, we also analyze this as a structured data. And the content of the interview is converted into text data from speech to text, which is then processed by natural language processing. Only by working in multimodal manner and combining multiple algorithms for multiple data types can we provide high judgment accuracy. This multimodal tech approach is one of the strengths of Excel Wizards. And we assume that we are the only multimodal, multi-sector AI company in Japan. And believe that this way we can create business uh, is indifferent from other companies. We have applied for 165 patents and have granted over 77 patents. And we already have a large number of patents library as well. Then let me explain the performance of the AI platform business. First of all, uh, sales were 1057 million yen, up about 45% year on year, maintaining high growth rate and doing great here. And compared to the previous Q1 uh, first quarter, this is the highest sales in our history. Operating income remain positive, but there's a slight decline in operating margin this quarter. The factor behind is the follows. The first factor affecting the cost of the goods sold is increase in the development due to acquisition of several new use cases. And as for SGN expenses, uh, thanks to our incremental awareness and branding in the Japanese AI market, after becoming public in the last December, we received many recruiting candidates to our campus. As we continue to receive many inbound inquiries on AI platform clients, we decided to continue actively hiring during the current fiscal year resulting in higher personal expense and compared to the previous fiscal year, which are equivalent to recruiting and SD&A expense. Although uh, operating profit margin is declining due to these factors, this is uh, no particular concern about the future and actual results themselves are in line with our in internal assumptions. Next, I would like to explain our long-term clients in the AI platform business. The company defines a long-term client 
as clients who has working with us for more than four quarters, four or more quarters. And the current quarter sales for the long term clients amounted to 757 million yen, accounting for about 72% of total sales, an increase in both value and percentage compared to the same period last year. On the other hand, the gross amount of the other client, which is similar in nature to new clients, also increased, indicating that we are well on track for the future growth. You may see that last year we had 730 million yen in revenue for the first quarter. In one way, our long term client's revenue in this fiscal year, first quarter, is surpassing that level with 70, 757 million yen. While having bigger number of new clients with 300 million yen than last year. So we are very much on track to accumulate quality revenue from enterprise clients in Japan. Also here, we've announced a press release that a book titled AI strategies for the era of web three, which focuses on problem solving methods utilizing our basic frame framework is scheduled for publication in late August. Last year, we've published a book called AI Strategy for 2025, which became very popular amongst Japanese CXOs. And recently, as we hear increased attention on Web3 strategy from Japanese enterprise clients, we've decided to deliver this book to the CXOs in Japan for deep dive discussion with them. We continue to lead technological advancement and AI implementation to enterprise clients in Japan. As we have explained in the past, we do not invest in large scale advertisement through mass media, but specialize in CXO inbound requests to work with them through these events and lectures. On the left hand side, by introducing the book, and welcoming our advisor, Dr. Iriyama, MBA professor at Waseda University, we will be hosting a large scale seminar with Keidan Ren, the Japanese Business Federation. This will take place next week, but as of today, we have more than 1,000 registered professionals on the events, including a huge number of enterprise CXOs. Also on the right hand side, in October this year, we are planning to host a large scale event called EXA Forum 2022. When we hosted this event last year, we welcomed more than 1,800 uh, attendees to the events. This year, by inviting prominent guests on the theme of Web3 and AI, including an associate professor at Yale University, we plan to invite a large number of CXO to the events. Now I will move on to the AI products segment. First, let me talk about the business environment of the AI products business. In the AI products business, as Japan's facing a demographic turning point ahead of the rest of the world, we're providing our own AI products to enhance efficiency for senior nursing care and workplaces. We will jump into the detail of the products next page. We have launched several DX and social AI products. Exabase DX assessment and learning is a flagship product, and this is like MBTI in the US. It is said Japan needs another 430,000 IT professional and our economic loss will be huge. This product is helpful to address these social issues with its assessment and e-learning services. And we're now serving this to more than 400 companies in Japan. And right hand side, uh, care with Hanasuto, which means just by talking, is a flagship social AI product, is a voice input app which caregiver keep a record of nursing care just by talking. And this enables them to shorten their working time by 40 minutes per day. Both of the products are still in early phase but growing significantly. Let me now explain the performance of the AI product segment. First of all, sales for this fiscal year totaled 138 million yen, 
a year-on-year -year growth rate of 30%. Operating loss was 278 million yen for the period. And this is an improvement about 19 million yen from the same period last year, which is due to the fact that while sales grew, the increase in expense were restrained. In comparison with the fourth quarter of the previous fiscal year, net sales decreased. In the previous quarter, there was a rush demand toward end of March, and we offered a certain amount of product that were recorded as a sales in one lump sum here. On the other hand, in this first quarter, in this current period, this rush demand has slowed down, and product sales with monthly subscription basis that has a one-year contract and more are increasing. As a result, sales growth rate appears to have declined slightly, but there's an accumulation of sales that will continue to be accumulated and continue to be recorded throughout the year. The following is an explanation of the breakdown of sales in the AI product segment. The main driver of the 30% growth is still DX AI products with exa-based DX assessment and learning as a mainstream of the business. In the current fiscal year, we will further expand the business while generating more sales growth and various cross-selling with AI platform clients. And meanwhile, sales of the social AI products around senior care center on Toruto, which means just by photo shooting, and Hanasuto, just by taking, just by talking, have also made a steady start, tripling year-on-year -year revenue, despite a small amount of sales still now. On May 30 this year, uh, Care with Hanasuto, a social AI product, announced a further development of its partnership with Care Connect Japan. Although we have been cooperating with them uh, in sales, we have former business alliance to jointly develop their systems, bundle the sales of both services, and promote more effective onboarding at the sale at the time of service introduction. With the aim of both parties taking more effective approach to ICT for nudging care products and records. This will further increase the number of users in Japan. As a result, we will further increase the number of users and accumulate big data related to the nudging care, which will lead to the development of the new system that will lead to the evolution of the company's AI model and the creation of outcomes in the senior care data. Now, I will pass this presentation back to Mr. Ishiyama for the outlook for the fiscal year ending March 2023. Okay, uh, now let me explain the outlook for the uh, fiscal year ending March 2023. This slide shows our forecast for sales and operating income. Uh, once again, starting uh, this fiscal year, we are presenting our forecast as a range. Uh, this is because we have judged that it's um, more appropriate uh, to disclose our forecast with a certain range, uh, given uh, the nature of our industry, which is characterized by rapid changes in the business environment and technological trends. Uh, in conclusion, uh, there is no change uh, in the figures uh, for net sales and each uh, stage of the uh, profit forecast uh, from the uh, announced in May. As stated, uh, we plan to uh, achieve profitability in operating income for the full year, but we expect to post an operating loss until the second quarter, although uh, we expect to be in the black uh, from the third quarter. The following is a list of each item in the earnings forecast. Uh, as stated, uh, there is no change in the forecast. Uh, ordinary income and net income are expected to be at the same level as operating income. And when we explain the operating margin, we mention the importance of new use case initiatives and the personal av availability perspective. We'd like to use this progressive model to talk again about the relationship between the two and the future vision. Uh, currently, our AI platform, Exabase, is in the middle stage. 
a hybrid model of past business and FT business. And the reason why we keep FT businesses is、uh, that the AI market is still in transition in Japan, and we still have many patents to obtain,、uh, which will create our moat in the future. Uh, however, uh, with the release of Exabase Studio in first quarter, the transition to the past business is accelerating.、Uh, and AI application development, AI application development using Exabase Studio is progressing at large clients. As a result,、uh, we plan to move to the platform maximization stage、uh, shown on the right side in the mid to long term. And we believe that we can aim for an operating margin of 30% or more、uh, in the AI platform business. Okay,、uh, these are the uh, uh, end of my presentation of the fiscal、uh, financial results of first quarter.、Uh, I will continue to take questions as time permits. Hey, thank you very much, Mr. Ishiyama. So now、uh, we will move on to the Q and A session. If you have any questions, please use the raise your hand function in Zoom to let us know. After that, we will appoint you and unmute you.